Try by Ruby Nina playing right here on Radio 254, the 254 Drive, exactly 10 minutes past 6 p.m. And we are still giving away tickets to The Hang. So you've, you've probably heard us talk about The Hang a couple of times now and we have already like made it clear that it is an ev- a 90s event um uh, an, sorry a 90s inspired event and in studio we have two amazing acts that are going to be performing at the event so i feel like they should introduce themselves first say hi to us tell us what their names are tell us what exactly they do so do we do ladies first Mm-hmm. Let's go men before. Let's <laughs> go <laughs> men before. <laughs> okay, say hi to the people. Hi everyone, my name is Manasseh Shalom Wakitongi Kumambo. Ningalikosea kitondo kana wenda ukapita bau kikema ukapita laba ukitondo no ukapika kwa lole. And I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I I feel like you've walked us through through Kamani, but I'm not even yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure where we are right now. I just know he said something. Yeah, yeah he uh, did. Mm. Okay, I yeah, say hi to the people. So hi everyone. My name is Ruby Nina. I don't think I have so much uh, <laughs> <laughs> compared to Manasse, but yeah, I am a jazz and an R&B singer. Yeah. Yeah. So um, both of you have ventured into I don't know. Let's say genres of music mm-hmm. that people will say are quote and quote unconventional in the Kenyan music market. Yeah. Cuz not a lot of people are doing jazz and most people are doing something um like that is Africa. in some way connected to folk fusion aren't that big cuz mm. you hear people like you hear a couple of producers mm. you hear events like folk fusion but then until you hear people talk about things like that you don't know that they actually exist. Yeah. So, I don't know, do we start in the same order that mm-hmm. we did? Because mm. I'd like to know what inspired you to get into the like in the genre of music that you are doing right now. All right, um, I guess I'll go first. <laughs> uh, for jazz, I'd, I'd honestly say I don't remember growing up around jazz music. So I have a theory. I have a very silly theory. I don't know if it can be pinguado. <laughs> but, um, so my dad used to play football for the national team. So at some point he was in uh, Liberia uh, yeah. by the time I was being conceived. So when I was born, um, I was named after a jazz singer called Ruby. So somehow I usually believe mm-hmm. that's just how uh, jazz <laughs> and I just reconnected. But for the r and I can, that one I can, I can, I can give you concrete evidence. For r and uh, I grew up in, I was born and raised in South Bay. So if you remember South Bay in the 90s, it was a, a cosmopolitan area. A lot of musicians, Kina Redson, mm, Kina um, yeah. Kera, Kina, what's his name? Kina Isa would be just across the road, up or South Sea. Yeah. So there's so many, you know, pubs and so many small, small joints that used to play a lot of 90s R&B. And at that time, I was in a day school. And I remember I used to um, alight the matatu and walk towards home. And you just hear different people, Kina Brandy, Kina Who. And I always just feel like I want to be like those people, you mm. know. So that's how I feel like I was really thrust into the R&B scene, especially the 90s. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And for you? I mean, I don't know how I landed here, but I knew, I know now that, you know, I want I want to do world music, uh, African world music for, uh, for as long as I can. And the reason I say I don't know how I landed here is because I grew up listening to, my, my, my parents were, my parents are Christian and I grew up in a very Christian home to the likes of you know precious melodies if you know that is you, mm-hmm. know, you look young you know you don't uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so bill githa and all that you know hymns mm-hmm. uh but then for some so 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 and then and then we moved to nairobi um maybe when i was in class two around then by that time i was only speaking kikamba and so english and swahili all these things came way later mm-hmm. and so uh, when when I continued practicing Kamba with my parents and whenever we'd go back to Shags, I, I knew that this is the language that I want to use in singing as well. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to fuse both Kamba, Swahili and, and English to make to make something good for the land and something good for the soil. Mm-hmm. And I think that's how I want to keep it. Mm-hmm. I don't know where it will take me, but I know uh, that's something I, I'd like to share. So that's why I'm doing world music. Mm-hmm. That is nice. So... You guys are going to be part of the acts that will be performing at The Hang. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we should first start by outlining to people what exactly The Hang is about mm-hmm. and why 90s music. So probably tell us what The Hang is about mm-hmm. and then what the ni- why 90s music. Why are we taking it back to the 90s? So The Hang is just basically um, 
like a celebration of songs that most of us grew up in. So the 90s were very, you know, was an era that had celebrated music. Like mm. music was really, really dope back then. So there's usually a form of nostalgia, especially as you keep growing older. You remember the certain songs that, uh, and the seasons that you were in when you were listening to those songs. So The Hang is basically just a combination of all of that. Mm. Um, to have vibes and to party and to bring back some of those nostalgic memories. That's how I see it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and I also feel like those days, um, like music was real music. <laughs> those days, you know, in those what days. What are you saying? Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. no. I don't mean. I don't mean it that way. But like, but like, even pop songs. Then mm. I feel, in my mm. opinion, yeah. like they no, were really um, well thought. Mm. You know, thought about and etc. And also those days were the days where like a song can have an intro of. 20 seconds. Right. And it will still be played on radio. You yeah. know, right now your intro is more than three seconds. <laughs> Aye, in a boy, you know. Sure. But, but the, the thing now that I really like about Hang is that um, everyone plays their role. Mm. So it's not just the artists mm. that, you know, we've prakod and, and we've, you know, we've done rehearsals and done our dances and all that. And then we come on stage to show you mm. what the music was. No, but like even the audience, like they dress up. Guys, like I remember the last hang, mm. guys just came in my 90s attire, you know, and it was it was really amazing. And and, and guys would, would jam and vibe together and dance, and it was really cool. So it's not one of those gigs where munakuja munaka and then, you know, uh, yeah. but it's, it's, it's th- one of those gigs where everyone is sort of part of it. Yeah. And I feel like that's why I really, really, really um, kept looking forward to the hang. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and f- if you are like me and you're a person who really, really enjoys, um, I don't know, I, there's something about live performances. There's something about like, there's a very big difference between listening to music and when you see the artist perform mm-hmm. it live mm-hmm. or just even covers, yeah. like you can feel the emotions, mm-hmm. like they're so raw and on people's faces. So guys, this is why, this is me telling you that you really do need those tickets to The Hang. Mm-hmm. So get yourself the tickets to The Hang as you listen to a, a bit of music and then we will be announcing one winner to one of the tickets. Ewa jiro, imo ikiwa kwa. 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 Ewa jiro, imo ikiwa kwa.
Mashida za muanda ma Analia eti heri mpenzi wa kwanza Heri mpenzi wa kwanza Heri mm-hmm. mpenzi wa kwanza Heri mpenzi wa kwanza back exactly 22 minutes past 6 p.m. right here on Radio 254, the 254 Drive. My name is Wangashi. And I'm Kosh, the captain. Mini mpenzi wako kwa. And I'm Ruby Nina, mpenzi wa mwisho. And this is Manasseh Shalom. <laughs> yeah, and you guys are, we have been talking about you guys performing for The Hang, and I want to ask, you guys have done live performances before, yeah. and you've probably gone through like the process mm-hmm. of rehearsals and all of that. So what is it about the hang and the community that you've built up um, around the event that sets it apart from all others? I think from my experience because I, I'd like to mention I'm a f- it's my first time mm-hmm. at the hang. Yeah. So from what I've seen that's different from all every other live um, show that I have done is the work that goes behind it. Mm-hmm. I mean just the dedication to bringing the best show ever. I mean you're looking at um a, a whole show that is even considering things like styling, mm. considering things like who's dressing you, what are you going to wear on that day, you know? Someone comes uh, comes to the catalog and shows you these are the three looks which one do you think you can work with and the clothes are being brought to you. So I think that in itself just makes the hang stand out from all the other live uh, ones that I've done. Yeah. And you you've done the hang a couple of times. Well, once. Yeah, just <laughs> once, yeah. once. Like this is the second time. Yeah. Uh-huh. But like so so um and we were talking kidogo before before we went on air again, but I love love that um for the people that are involved in terms of crew and you know artists. It's not it does it, it's not a competition. It it uh, and I th- actually you mentioned this like it it feels like <coughs> we're working together towards something mm-hmm. and something that's going to be grand. And so like, you know, we artists like we, you know we can share ideas with each other hey why didn't you try this during your dance or doing the guitar solo why don't you whip your hair i must do what what and those are things that if you think about it like your there it's this person just wants your performance to be better mm. and see at in your onekane ama ndio useme at yeah this actually you know the reason i made it in this song is because of ruby no it's just yeah. literally we just want to have fun we mm. want to give the best that we can yeah. aside from that I also what ruby said about like just simple things like styling okay it's not simple but mm-hmm. like things yeah. like that that often get overlooked i feel like um the t- the stylists for like they give they give everything and you can see the thought process like mbaka unaulizwa you know send me a picture of your hair you know <laughs> like, <laughs> like a week before so that we know yeah. what to do with well, it and things with. like mm-hmm. i feel like small small things like these um and points of excellence like even even just the efficiency of rehearsals are what what makes uh, according to me the hang um feel like home like feel like something yani after this one i can't wait for next year i can't wait for the next one yeah <laughs> Yeah so um the hang is also like it is a majorly Ken- like it is a majorly Kenyan lineup so mm. the music might not be 
Holy Kenyan, mm. but the lineup and every performer is going to. So I want to ask, what do you like? There's a lot people are talking uh, like the conversation about Kenyan music and Kenyan performances has been happening a lot. And I want to ask, do you feel like cuz the hang is I don't know how to say this. Do you feel like it is like there is space for all of us in this Kenyan industry? Is there space for outside acts like without overshadowing Kenyan acts and is it is there space for the Kenyan act to without overshadowing all those other acts and what do you feel like the hang is doing to I don't know motivate either? Mm. Uh, from, from from where I see it, the hang is very inclusive. Mm. It's very inclusive. We've had uh, people that are from Nigeria as well, um, from different countries. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you look at it uh, holistically, whether it's whether it's the singers, whether it's the crew, I mean, it's very inclusive. That's mm. one thing I know about it. So, um, from how I look at it, is th- there's definitely balance. Yeah. Because I think what you're asking is how is the hang ensure is it uh, Yeah, like how what is the hang like doing to ensure that we are not trying to say at this there's a bigger stage for a certain person or a certain form of music. It's we are trying to bring us all together as Kenyans to enjoy music that you actually enjoy regardless mm. of where it came from. Mm. Yeah. Actually to add on to Ruby like I, one of the things that uh, that we're doing at Hang is that we've also included a Kenyan set. Mm. So it's, I mean, the 90s were not only, you know, R&B, R&B or, yeah. or Western mm. music, but mm. we also had really, really good music um, from here. Mm. And so when we are celebrating 90s, we are celebrating um, the music that, you know, we grew up we with, grew up the with music with that mm. uh, us guys our age, and you know now we are old, <laughs> us yeah, guys yeah, our yeah. age, I'm um, sort of just <laughs> 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 a vibe too and all that. So, it, um, so, so if 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 you're if you loved some Kenyan music mm. during the 90s mm. imagine come for hang yeah. there's a place for as in it's it's just amazing and and the artists that have been you know selected to do this hang i mean surely i wish you can just hear ruby's voice yeah <laughs> ukweli just utter and mixed nothing pressure it's amazing so uh, like to be working nice with people it. like ruby oh. um like lisa and you know um amazing performance like Njora, you know, Elsaf and Njora. Yeah, he, yeah. may, he may not, he may not, um, um, that guy is crazy. He may not <laughs> always be quiet, yeah. or, but uh, but he, he's amazing. Yeah, he As is, in on he's, stage, mm. he's just something else. Mm. And it's just an honor to, to be working with people like these. Um, so yeah, it's, I, I, I feel like the hang is pretty inclusive in terms of the set list and mm. even the people. Go ahead. And I think and I think the reason why the nineties, one thing we need to understand is the nineties cut across every country mm. yeah. in the world. If you go to yeah. Nigeria today and you're singing a song that was sung by Brandy, mm. trust you me, that's mm. the one place you'll understand each yeah. other. So it's very hard for uh, say a Ghanaian artist mm. to sing a song in, uh, that was done uh, in their country then mm. and for you to to yeah. vibe with, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we meet each other halfway yeah. when it comes to that particular genre. Mm. So I think uh, in itself, just the concert is mm. very inclusive. Mm. It's very, very global, very worldwide. It's something people can understand, even if you don't understand the language. If yeah. you don't understand English, you can always remember. Ah, I remember that song for Kina, um, Kina Monica, Kina Who, you know. Yeah. Mm. So in itself, it's already just very inclusive. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Another thing I feel like, I mean, I, I, I'm not, if you ask me why I was selected, I wouldn't tell you why, but yeah. I feel like there, there was so much thought that went into the selection mm. of the, pe- you know, the people who are performing at the hang. Mm-hmm. Um, so like there's, there's one guy I have always, any dreamt of meeting, um, yeah. me, I always called him Mark Mende. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh-huh. you know, so, so people like K1, like, yeah. like, like these are guys who in some way or another, mm. um, music, I don't, I'm, I'm sure it was in the nineties, but like, but there like, like a season. yeah, there was yeah. like a season, and yeah. even then he yeah. was he was dancing or in that in a dance group of some sort. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just amazing to be able to piece together yeah. young people, mm. you know, kind of nineteen years old and twenty. Yes, and uh, and uh, people who you know are older. Yeah, I don't say old. <laughs> <laughs> older. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of another music break. And as you continue to like, we just want you to text in. We have. <laughs> Oh, we do actually have winners. So we will be announcing them before we end the show. So next we play a bit of music and then you come have Kidoko conversation and then we wrap this up. This is 
exactly 37 minutes past 6 p.m. right here on Radio 254, the 254 Drive. And we are still giving away tickets to The Hang. Um, congratulations to Sydney. Um, I don't want to butcher your second name. Congratulations, Sydney. You have won yourself a ticket to The Hang. Yay. We will be reaching out to you. <laughs> so um, I want to ask, who are the... like? Who are the brains behind the hang? People probably want to know who, who, what is the brains behind the hang. I, f- I feel okay. So, so the hang is one of those um, gigs where it's such a collective effort, like, and there's much that goes behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. But to tell you the truth, I mean, I don't know where the idea or what inspired the hi- the where I would say the idea. Hi- so the idea. Come don't, back. Worry. <laughs> don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. What inspired the idea of hang? Mm. But I know that uh, June is largely, largely uh, responsible for uh, much of it, mm. and I know that she has very. Um, you know, gifted people around her, like mm. the vocal MD, yeah, hey. vocal MD Lisa, the band MD, um, a gentleman called David Hunter, who is amazing oh. mm-hmm. as well, um, and and you know the and and the other the other MDs, and I'm and and there's more, you know, in the background that yeah. goes on, and people just helping out with the event. Mm. Um, so yeah, but I would say. June. I'd say June has yeah. largely carried yeah. carried uh, uh, many of us along, yeah. I mean, even without being um, part of the cast this year, mm. when I heard about the hang the first time, of course, mm. she was the face. First thing you think about is... is when yeah. you see the hang, you know it's June. Yeah. yeah. You know it's June Gashui. Yeah. yeah. Call her the fairy godmother I of know. music. Yeah. 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 And I can assure yeah. you, June yeah. is one of the most wonderful people she is. Um, that you can ever work with mm. in this industry. Mm. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. And and also a really, really good singer. Oh. I mean, like, really good singer. <laughs> she, she is. I have listened to her a couple yeah. of times. Yeah. yeah, so she is really good. Um, the Hang was on a rake because this edition of The Hang is mostly, most times you hear people talk about it, it's like, The Hang is back. Mm. So people probably want to know what was the reason for the break between the last edition of The Hang Mm. and this edition of The Hang. I think it's just, you know how we just we wake up and we're like, yeah, ni COVID, you know. And yeah, what, COVID. <laughs> what, what yeah. happened to you, COVID? Uh, COVID? The friends you ghosted, yeah, COVID. Yeah. COVID, COVID. Is COVID. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I know that uh, during COVID, I mean, we, we, we actually had planned to do it um, uh, earlier. That, uh, that was the plan. Uh, um, 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 you know, based on the communication that was given me. But but I know that it was really difficult. At that time, obviously, we couldn't gig. Mm-hmm. And then when we finally could, mm-hmm. you know, you, you're not really sure. So you have to... Mm. Because yeah. one, yeah. one moment, yeah, everyone is... You're able to gig. The other moments, everyone is locked out, but campaigns are happening. Yeah. But that's a story mm. for another day. But yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I would say, I would say, I think, in my opinion, I, I, uh, COVID played a huge role in that, yeah. And largely, I feel like live events are usually subjected to timing as well. Mm. Timing, there's always a right time. Yeah. There's mm. always a right time to do something. I mean, even if COVID was not there and perhaps certain things had not been put in place, mm. it's not... Because remember, the show that is being given is grand. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Not, hey, just, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. not just 20 yeah. gigs to yeah. e place to, to <laughs> Kanini. So there's a lot that goes into it. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I largely believe that also timing. The time yeah. is right. And yeah. we're having it this year. This is the time. Yeah. 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 This is yeah. The time. And so um, the... There obviously people had tuned into the show today yes. mm-hmm. because of you guys. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> <laughs> So what would you tell your fan mm. who is not completely convinced that they should come to the hang? Mm. Yeah. Why should they come? Mm. Tell them why they should come. First of all, if 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 part of those fans are musicians, I highly recommend. Oh, yeah. I highly recommend the hang. Um, because of of course you you learn a thing or two, but mostly the networking. Mm. Remember the hang is just not uh, a gig that like I said, there's a lot that goes into you know p- uh, yeah. preparation. So by the time you even you, f- you even find that the ticket is being sold for the amount that it's being sold for, it's because there's a lot that mm. goes into it. So to anyone who um, still not feeling convinced about joining uh, or coming for that particular concert, the hang, I would tell them kindly come, kindly come network. Um, you know, it's it's a place to just release the stress and and, and have fun and dance and mm. and meet new people and listen to new acts. Um, yeah. I don't know. I had not shared with uh, Manasseh this before, but in I think it was in November, December when they were doing um, remembering Whitney. Mm. That's mm. also part of another you know uh, 
another concert that's under the JGIP consultants. Mm. And I remember sitting there in the crowd mm-hmm. as a singer in my own right in different shows, mm. but thinking to myself, I want to be a part of this. Mm-hmm. And I called it forth. I remember yeah. I told someone, this coming year, 2022, I want to work mm. for um, June Gashui in that yeah. capacity for the concerts that she does. Yeah. And somehow, just by saying it, I met a person or two, and just like that, that's how I am here. So mm. I really, really, really encourage, please come network and, and just see how things are done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would also add that, um, first of all, shout out to you know um, my fans who are listening. Um, thank you so much for your support. Um, in relation to Hang, I'd, I'd also like to add that there's really a lot of work that has gone into this. Oh, yeah. And I promise you, yeah. I promise you it's going to worth be worth it. it. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. not those gigs where utakuja you feel, ah, yeah, you know. Um, I'm a nigelala. Yeah, I'm a nigelala too. Yeah. No, 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 there's, there's, there's really, there's work that has gone into people, people who don't dance like myself. I am, t- <laughs> no, you don't know terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible at dancing. Uh, but I'm there, you know, killing myself mm. over, you know, move this foot here, move this foot yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Um, until we get it and and like we have amazing dancers mm. um you know art in motion, art in motion. Ooh, and yeah. it's basic like it's not just and like like ruby is saying like if you're a musician aki this gig will it will be something for you mm-hmm. um and even if you're not a musician like there there's so much there's so much uh around it aside from um you know kuskia ma skills yeah. and all <laughs> that no, 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 yeah, i yeah. i think i can guarantee that you'll have fun this is one of those gigs if i find myself not seeing i'm an one day <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Not enjoying>. yeah <laughs> i imagine i'm going to attend mm-hmm. yeah this this mm-hmm. one this one you'll you'll really enjoy this one yeah. so please come uh, it'll be worth your money it'll be worth your time i yeah. can guarantee that yeah, so we go on another short break, then we announce our second winner. Do a bit of quick fire questions, then we will be out. The thought of you, it warms my heart There's gold in your heart And sparkling diamonds in your pretty eye Is it just me? Or are we growing deeper every day? Tell me now I've waited far too long To call you mine mm-hmm. You see I have reason to believe That my heart belongs to you And yours belongs to me Cause every step that we have made Has led us straight to this where I'm forever yours Forever yours Ooh. Proverbs 31 woman That's what we all call you now We all know That you are far too precious Beautiful woman You say Jesus is your friend That you will not be swayed by pagan hearts <laughs> But you see he and I are cool so does that gain me my legend to your heart? Ooh, I, I have reason to believe That my heart belongs to you And yours belongs to me Cause every step that we have made Has led us straight to this
to believe that my heart belongs to you and yours belongs to me cause every step that we have made has led us straight to this I'm forever yours and I have reason to believe that my heart belongs to you yours belongs to me cause every step that Four nine forty nine minutes past six p.m. East African time. Still tuning in to Radio Two Five Four, the Two Five Four Drive, of course, with me, Gikosh, the Captain, alongside Wa Genshi. <laughs> okay, I cannot sing. Okay, I cannot <laughs> sing. And of course, we have our second winner, who is Megan Mudeu. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm kidding. Skia, we're doing a tuning games, right? <laughs> Round of quick fire, quick fire, quick fire. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, mm. what's your fear? Cats. Cats. Mm. Cranes falling. <laughs> <laughs> If you would be any animal, what would it be? I'd be a dove. Mm. Wow, a lion. <laughs> lion. <laughs> so, what's the best compliment you have ever gotten? That I light up the room. Oh. Wow. Oh. It's true though. Oh, it <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think for me is that when I play guitar it's healing. Mm. Um yeah, it made me stop taking it for granted. Wow. Beautiful. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> but of course I only have this question for each and every person who comes here. Yeah. So what is that one thing mm. that you'd love Ruby mm. to be remembered for? Oh. <laughs> for her love for chicken. First of all, <laughs> chicken in thighs. I will always shout you out. <laughs> It is not a paid ad, but yeah. But I would love uh, to be remembered for um just what I was complimented for that everybody that comes across me uh feels warm and feels loved and feels like they can be so much more than what imposter syndrome tells them that they can't. Yeah, just that. I'd love to be remembered for that. Amazing. I think for me it would be two things. Mm. Um one for uh how I am on stage mm. and how I am on stage is just a bit over the top like crazy. Mm. Um but number two is a kindness that is not discriminatory. Mm. Um I want to be I want to choose kindness for everyone. Wow. Always. Mm. So I have a weird one. <laughs> bring it. Edgar or Kibe. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Anyway, but if if, if there's a gun on my head definitely Edgar. Edgar. Yeah. You can't ask me the same question. <laughs> I can ask. Yeah. Why? Ask me something like, <laughs> like if they if they made you like you had to be on an island with one of them yeah. for the rest of your life for you to be king. Ah, uh, yeah, Edgar. <laughs> 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 oh, you're Oh okay sorry guys so it is exactly eight minutes to the top of the hour we've been talking about the hang congratulations to Sydney and Megan for getting yourself ticket and you are probably wondering how you can get yourself a ticket all you have to do is go to www.kenyabuzz.com and get yourself a ticket Alibad tickets are already sold out but you can get yourself advance tickets at 3000 bob or a gate ticket at 3500 bob the event will be happening on Saturday at Waterfront Karen. So tell people where they can find you and then we wrap this up. Mm. All right, uh you can find me on all social media platforms at Ruby Nina. That's R U B Y N I N A H. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and you can uh find me uh on Instagram manase_shalom. Uh SoundCloud the same thing. Manase Shalom YouTube Manase Shalom and info for the hang you can find it on the JJIP pages or the gigs you know uh, like um uh what is it called gig <laughs> gig.co.ke gig.co.ke yeah, yes yeah okay yeah so it is exactly 53 minutes past 6 pm 7 minutes to the top of the hour thank you for tuning in to the 254 drive my name is Wangashi 
and I'm Coach the Captain. Why do I feel like it's Friday? <laughs> yeah, it's giving because Friday. we said yeah, we it. said we are not governed by the calendar. Definitely. All right. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So to put on a cash from 4 p.m. all the way until 7 in the p.m. Be kind. Love more. Yeah, Bye. and we will have La Freak in oh, studio. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Thank you.